people really want to show like the beautiful side of them. Yes, That's yes, why yes. all this excavated all the clothes buying mm, activity. It's good, like, actually, we should encourage. Yeah. Uh, uh, once once a year, you let people go and do some fashion yeah, show. Yeah, because they are, they are not model, right? Yeah, no yeah. chance of like, my wife wear also nobody. <laughs> 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 Chinese hey, hey, dinner wear nicely, right? <laughs> this one will go up before Chinese dinner. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, welcome back to our CNY special. <laughs> hey, you're not like that, right? <laughs> like, I feel we, you we to... We prepare for something, right? Prepare for something, yes, 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 yes. Clearly, you can tell we record two episodes at one time. Like, uh, <laughs> right? like who, who's still coming to do one episode these days, right? But, but today, we're going to focus on Chinese New Year, okay? And <laughs> we're going to start with some Jisang Hua, right? You're going to start with some Jisang Hua. <laughs> So yes, please, for uh, the non-Chinese in the house, you can stay, bear with us for a minute, right? For everyone that is uh, Chinese people and you want to get some like, auspicious uh, words, uh, any, anybody, any auspicious okay, words? Yeah. I start first. You start first, yes, okay. Uncle Kenny. Chúc <laughs> 大家恭喜發財, 萬事如意, 步步高升, 兔年發大財! Voila! Hing on what, right? Oh my goodness! I actually said that, okay. <laughs> Kenny's Lao Jia is in Ipoh. Ipoh, Ipoh. Yeah, so mm. it's uh, Cantonese. I, Hakka. Hakka, okay, okay, okay. So, but Ipoh, people speak Cantonese or? Yeah, speak Cantonese and Hakka. Actually, uh, same dialect as LKY. Oh, mm. like that you also want to turn to uh? like that. You... <laughs> <laughs> LKY is so far away, you so want to like, oh yeah, you know, we actually same dialect, like control yourself, uh, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and Chris, yes. 祝大家兔年行大运,兔年发大财,大家兴旺发。Voila! <laughs> wow. <laughs> anyway, this wasn't my idea. This was like Chris's idea. <laughs> so are you gonna open with like like? Then uh, you have to start Chinese Hokkien already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, how to say? Hokkien, I don't know. I don't Go know, figure out. I don't say. Uh, I don't know how to say. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. Anyway, they have already give you the greeting, right? So great, great, good stuff. Okay, happy New Year to all of you tuning in. Um, and I know New Year is a mixed feeling la, these days. I don't know if you feel like New Year is a mixed feeling. Mixed feeling, um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the situation is when we were younger, you know, New Year is like fun, right? always very interesting, very exciting. You get to meet your cousins, you got a lot of ang pao, you play uh, tai ti, maybe you win some money, you know, then it's like $50 is like a lot, you know? <laughs> now it's a bit like, mm, you know, like I don't want to put so much energy on this <laughs> anymore, right? So, so times have changed. And today I want to take this time to talk a little bit about how Chinese New Year is like for both of you and also for, for myself. Lah. Right, so how has Chinese New Year changed over time and uh, like where is it, right? And of course, uh, we've got a varied perspective. Lah. Yeah, this is the, you know, the same the... you know. <laughs> different, different world. I start to give Ang Pao, no, give Ang Pao many years already and then now coming to a different situation, right? So... Uh, yeah, that, that's our focus for today. Uh, big and small things about Chinese New Year. Hopefully, through this session, gives you some bullet to combat CNY. <laughs> 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 so yeah, how, how is Chinese New Year for both of you these days? Financially, non-financially, up to you how you want to take this. Yeah, actually, Chinese New Year for my generation now, uh, it's actually not as exciting as last time. Really. I know, now very pressure. You take the Ang Pao, you're very scared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you feel that. Yeah, yeah you take the Ang Pao, it's like, oh, hun, right? when, when, when you're going to, like married when you want to have kids you know oh my goodness yeah, yeah that also depends on how you're you still worry on all these things mm, really yeah, your parents yeah. ask you whether get married or not they do they do oh they do, they do. you they do. Your parents? they don't, uh. they, they, don't. Because they already know I'm going to get married <laughs> anyway <laughs> okay okay yeah okay. so I was saying right um, Chinese New Year as you grow older it just becomes a different vibe altogether when you're younger when you're a kid right the focus is more on your parents and you as a kid you just go to different houses you just play games with your cousin your relatives and all that but as you grow older you, you kind of become the VIP, the person that to be interviewed, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> VIP. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, and then you become the interviewer. <laughs> you move on to the next level. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So people are generally very curious about your life, your job, your work, your school, and all that stuff, right? Mm. So the vibe has totally changed. It becomes like an interview session, if I may say, <laughs> interview session. I will relate it to similar to your reservist ICT training. <laughs> Very interesting example, uh, why? Because you realize that when you go back to in-camp training, uh, these are the people that you only meet like once a year. Very similar to how you meet your relatives during CNY. But outside of this period, most likely you all don't connect together. You all don't hang out together. But during this period, you all are all quite close. You all are considered bonded because you all are in the same unit. You are in the same family. So it reminds me of reservice training. <laughs> and then people just catch up on everything and all Suddenly that stuff. Very familiar, right? Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, but outside of the setting, ah, uh, no connection. Uh, uh, I mean, at least that's for my experience. Yeah. La. I'm not sure for Kenny or yourself. Mm. Is it any different or not? So that's my sharing. Mm. Okay, mm. okay. So for myself, okay, Kenny, Kenny is uh, another league one. Later, later, <laughs> later we get to you. Okay, for myself, I think we are in a similar bandwidth, right? Mm. So uh, similar, you know, very stressed these days. Take the ang pao, right? And the ang pao also not a lot. <laughs> so, okay. okay, last time when you were a kid, you know, it's, it's a lot, right? But now when you think the ang pao, it's like, okay, not a lot. It's fine. You know, it's about the blessing. So, so the goodwill of the family. But it's always a package deal. Like, it will come with all sorts of other questions. <laughs> it's like, ah, you know, so and so, already Mary, you know, like blah, blah, blah. Uh, I want the pao soon. It's like, pao soon, pao soon. You know, it's like, there are all these kind of things, package deal. Okay, it comes together with this ang pao, right? So, so it becomes more and more stressful. And uh, as you grow older, I don't know, I don't feel as excited to like play tai chi or play games, you know. Or it's, it's just like, give me a break, right? right? It's just, I need a break. You know, maybe the uh, only thing I look, up, look forward to is like, with the kids all. but uh, very quickly they are no longer kids also <laughs> <laughs> so they are teenagers right so there's yeah. nothing to play with already the family is waiting for you to produce the kids <laughs> in that sense so it's in that situation it's not as fun not as interesting uh, pretty much the only thing I look forward to is to hang on my cousins all. but the interesting part is I also meet my cousins out of CNY slowly slowly mm-hmm. like one or two slowly slowly you know it's like hey sometimes you can you know hang out eat prata talk you know that kind of thing right so I don't know is it a pandemic induced like desperation of like oh, yeah, yeah I think we should connect with each other more <laughs> or it's just a uh, aging kind of thing I don't know I mean, then, then that's a natural question natural. right uh, lead to lead to Uncle Kenny right so do you feel like you connect with your cousins over time as you age a little bit more out of the CNY setting and how is it like for you now actually not uh, because my my parents and also parents-in-law they are in Ipoh and also Sunga Patani Mm. So we only uh, oh, go further, back yeah, go back <laughs> once once a year, right? Mm. I treasure more uh the spending time with them because they are getting older and older, the time spent with them will be getting less and lesser. So basically it's more a responsibility at the same time to really see them, right? Mm. And also when it comes to Ang Bao portion, now, basically it's a money transfer. <laughs> <laughs> right, you go back, you give a mother a few thousand dollar, uh, just for Chinese New Year. Then after that, they use our money to give to our <laughs> our grandchildren, their, hey, their grandchildren. Hey, 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 hey. So money transfer, and also some of the money will be transferred back to us for Ang Pao, right? Mm. Basically, a uh, money portion is not really uh important to us at all. Like. Basically, I also don't know how much they power. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just put it aside. And also every year, uh, basically I was the driver. Every year I'm a driver <laughs> because I used to take bus when during younger days. Uh, the income is lesser, mm. so we used to take bus, and after that. Stuck in the all the causeway horrible, itself, yes. right? Horrible. Now, Ari now, you, Raya, CNY, all this mm. horrible. Now, even, even worse, worse than, than the last time. time. So now, basically, money portion, although it's expensive, but not a big concern. Very surprisingly, I also find that when I fly back to Ipoh for the past few years of Ipoh or COVID, uh, I spent about three thousand dollar for a family of four. Sing dollar, <laughs> sing dollar, wow. three thousand. Wow. Uh. So if you convert to the ringgit itself, uh, it close to ten thousand ringgit. Mm. Just flying one round back mm. at throw and flow. Uh, Right and just spend about five days only. So you're the real VIP. Quipping, quipping, ni hang quip, right? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so after after flying back itself, the next thing is because we just need to spend maybe Yen San Si Chui Chu. Then after that, I have to Pao Chang go to my <laughs> oh. my parents in North Place. Then it's, I will driver. No? Mm-hmm. Basically, Chinese New Year to me, uh, for the past year, basically, I'm, I'm just a driver. Mm-hmm. So, you don't talk about chow tai di la, whatever thing. When you drive to one place, <laughs> la, you're so tired, you right? dress for a while, take a nap for a while, then drive, driver come back. It's the Grab taxi driver <laughs> during Chinese New Year. So, there's an uncle <laughs> era. <laughs> so, so, you haven't promoted until interviewer? Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Yeah, basically, yeah. the question is not on me. The question is more on my children, mm-hmm. right? Uh, how's your study, la? what are you going to do, la? those mm-hmm. things. La. So, you are out of the interviewee, you are now in the transition phase uh, as, a, as, a driver, uh, as a driver as a driver and eventually uh, you will become the interviewer correct correct and as a driver phase uh, actually nobody care about us yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because the attention is always not on us <laughs> so sad my goodness okay okay then what is Chinese New Year to all of you now today what does it mean for you lor, CNY now when I was young without kids uh, I don't understand but after you become a parent what you want is together with your children Okay, I, I left my hometown after I graduated uh, with STPM, right? Malaysian A-Level when I was 20 years old. After I left my parents itself, every year I only go back one time to visit them, right? For 30 plus years already. So I think as the parents itself, they want to see the children come back together with them, especially all those important days. It's very, very important to them. So for example, now now my son, okay, study in the university, stay in the hostel, uh, only once a week only. Uh. Mm-hmm. We also miss them already. Mm-hmm. That kind of thing, right? Then then my daughter, she said that she want to 
go overseas, don't want to stay with us, just go for overseas alone to study. Wow, we also feel heartache. Mm. You, you feel that. Mm. So don't feel that. you don't feel that. <laughs> so you don't. You don't I, feel that. I'm in a different league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very soon you can climb out yeah, that leg already. Okay. When you reach that stage, uh, you start to realize they always want us because in the parents' eye, uh, we always the children. Mm-hmm. Especially now, I still can remember my son, my daughter, their baby time. No, I always can remember. No, so whoever, whoever you think that uh, you you want to use a China, Chinese New Year uh, go for holiday, uh, I will strongly say no. Like uh, you can use other time to go for holiday, uh, But this kind of special date, lah, uh, is better to stay stay with your parents. But it's a increasingly popular phenomenon, right? More mm. and more people travel during Chinese New Year and all mm. that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Maybe also because of age. Uh. Again, uh, the 50 years old one, when you cross, uh, the total mindset is totally different. Mm-hmm. It's very different. Become driver. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, fair. Chris, for you? Yeah, so for people around my generation, right? Our especially generation? Can you say our? <laughs> our <laughs> generation. Like, like, uh, yo. For our generation, right? We are most likely late 20s or early 30s. People who have been staying with their parents for quite some while. Maybe you all won't feel this kind of need to go for Chinese New Year kind of visit because every day you all are hanging out with mm. your parents already. It kind I'm of not sure we are hanging out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure we are hanging out with our Connecting. parents. You know? uh, we are in the same roof doesn't mean we are ah, hanging okay. out. You know what I mean? Like, yo, bro, we hang out the day. <laughs> may or may or hang out. Yes, yes. Yeah, but it's more like your connection with your parents are already there. It's not like Kenny, you have mm. kids overseas and then they need to make a special connection, right? So for people around this generation who are still staying with parents, maybe you all don't feel this need unless you all have moved out. Okay, you'll have your own house, um, you'll have married your partner and then stay separately from your parents or you'll have moved overseas, right? Then you will see Chinese New Year as a very significant event for everyone to get together, um, especially under a family setting to have a good meal together, just catch up and everything. But for people like, like myself, because I'm still staying with my parents waiting for my BTO. La, so I really don't have this strong feeling that Kenny has as of now. La. Maybe when I move out, I may have that kind of feeling. But as of now, I don't feel it. It's just Mm. another deal. Something more significant. Maybe you have better meals because your mom or your aunties have prepared everything. Oh, that's the best. Yeah. When the moms and the aunties go into the kitchen and then they do like eat long one, right? Oh <laughs> my god, come on, always amazing one. Mm, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. you must start making pineapple tart again, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Lazy already, don't want to do already. I mean, as we old, I get get older, you know, these things. I, I get it, lah. But please, okay, if this year you do, I come back. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, yeah. And for, and for me, I think, I think I'm think i in the same realm, you know? Uh, but of course, I, I live out, outside on, on my own now, right? But I think I'm not at the, the stage where I like miss home yet. You know what I mean? I, I'm I'm at a stage where I'm like, yeah. Not yet, know, not yet, not peace, yet. silence. Mm. Oh, namaste. You know, that kind of that kind of say I'm not there yet, right? I yeah, think Kenny can attest to it, right? Mm, Eventually mm. you get to a point. Eventually. Right? You Eventually get you get to a point and then mindset may shift, lah, right? Right. But at this point in time, it still feels a little bit like a chore, you know, to to come back and then like, you know, get bombarded by questions. A lot of my auntie, they already all prime me already. Hey, you coming back, right? You coming back, right? It's like <laughs> you must sit there. You know? It's like you coming back, right? You coming back. So it feels a little bit more pressuring at this point in time. But you know, see if if I make a conscious choice to come in, right, then I will make the best out of it. Lah. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to feel like, you know, like, because we are really grown up, right? Mm, I don't want to come back, mm. like, don't come back. Like. People will say things, you know, as with uh, a lot of Chinese family, they were like, gossip, gossip. But if I made a conscious choice to come back, then I make the best out of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm, mm. yeah but, but one thing I have stopped doing is buying new clothes, uh, pretty much. Right? So, so, and, and, and I think that is a big phenomenon, right? So going forward, uh, after we establish where we are in this <laughs> Chinese New Year landscape, you know, we are in a different role, different situation of our life. Lives. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about like what to spend during CNY. You know, like what do you spend? What do you not spend? What are your thoughts on some of these things, right? So the first thing we talk about buying new clothes. Mm. Okay, <laughs> so I stop buying new clothes. You know, I mean, if you come to my channel every day, I wear a black T-shirt. Right? Pretty much <laughs> the same idea. It, it makes my life so much simpler. I don't really need to think a lot of these things. And you know, you're comfortable. My sponsor is comfortable. Everyone's comfortable. <laughs> and it becomes a if I dress up, people will be like, "Whoa, you dress up!" I was like that is what I want. You mm. know what I mean? So mm. there's no expectation that you have to dress up and uh, you know, usually it's just what it is, right? So I have kind of more or less stopped doing that. And uh, I think a big part is also because uh, when you buy during Chinese New Year, everybody buy the same thing, very easy chong one, you know? Like, <laughs> and uh, everybody wear the same thing and uh, not that nice, uh, I don't know. Do you guys still buy new clothes? I don't, uh, 
personally mm. because I think cloning this kind of thing when you're younger it makes a bit of significant event because your parents bring you out right and then you become <laughs> uh, <laughs> right? yeah, like the bus, right? <laughs> yeah. your parents will bring you out for clothes shopping and then because you were a little kid you are excited about all this stuff but yeah. as you grow older right you realize that the less decisions you make maybe the happier you are <laughs> you know the minimalist kind of mindset so <laughs> I also do not buy clothes during Chinese New Year I buy clothes when I want it or when yeah, it's on sale yeah, yeah, yeah exactly mm. and I will not feel like you know, so, uh, some people will think like, okay, I buy clothes. Uh, like this one, okay, I buy for Chinese New Year. No, I don't think like that. Yeah. You know, I, I also like, find it very weird. Why, why, must, why Chinese must Chinese New Year, Year then buy clothes? Buy clothes? No, Cannot as buy in, As in there are people that, you know, like exactly like what we're talking about, right? They, it, it gets very tiring, you know. Sing then you buy so many things, you know, at, at one time, very shack. So what some people do is they will buy it throughout the year. Uh. Right? So it's like maybe, you know, there's this sale. Then it's like, hey, what? This one can wait for Chinese New Year. They will think like that. Yeah. Oh, you know yes, what I mean yes. uh, then oh this one maybe you can buy for Chinese New Year to me it's like I don't even think that way you know I just think this is quite nice I'll buy it I'll find a way on when I'm gonna wear it yeah. you know what I mean yeah but I also think that's a better way rather than like Chinese New Year go and scramble to get that thing you know yes. what I mean yeah yes. yeah so so but you know what I'm saying, right? Like yeah. the like the oh, this one look like Chinese New Year can uh, But actually now it's only like April or something, mm. right? So, yeah. W- what about you, Kenny? Do you next time really depends on the wife, no? Yeah. Where are they from? <laughs> okay. It, it play a part because yeah. basically for I don't buy the clothes for myself for Chinese New Year, mm-hmm. but my wife will do that. Sometimes she can see a good offer somewhere. She buy buy it for Chinese New Year, reserve for Chinese New Year, <laughs> right? Mm. And you will be typical in those color, red color, bright color. <laughs> she will buy, right? And we have the uh, clothes for Nian Chu Yi, Nian Chu Er, Nian San Si. Maybe two or three, uh, right? Oh, and also all prepared okay. for my, all my my daughter and the son already. Okay, so so everybody wears the same color, is it? Is it like, like, like our like Malay that. friends like they wear the baju kurong? Everybody <laughs> one color, like one set. Ah, uh, right? something like, like that, something like that. And uh, your kids already like twenty plus. They still okay with that? No choice, mother. <laughs> mother <player. laughs> no, That's why it depends no, on no, why, no, uh, Depends no, on why, no, uh, no, right? Yes, yes, yes. And, and, no, no allowance for you. Yeah. And in Malaysia, uh, the culture is still there. Mm. Right during the reunion dinner and also Nian Chu Yi, you need to really wear this kind of clothes. Uh. You don't go wear black, uh, definitely. Uh, uh. Right? So you'll be bright color. But sometimes also no choice. Uh. Although I don't like the color, I still have to wear uh. sometimes orange. <laughs> <laughs> I had to wear that's why I have a lot of red shirt. Uh, 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 oh my goodness. One thing to add, some people think of Chinese New Year like a fashion show one. O O T D day one. Yeah, 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 yeah. day two. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is excavated by Instagram like 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. And people really want to show like the beautiful side of them. Yes, that's yes, why yes. all this excavated, all the clothes buying mm, activity. It's good, like, actually we should encourage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, once yeah. once a year you let people go and do some fashion yeah, show. Yeah, because they are they are not modern, right? No chance of like my wife wear also nobody want to see. Chinese New Year wear nicely, right? This one will go up before Chinese New Year. Hey, look at Chinese New Year. I was like, ah, uh, Kenny, why not you come out, your <laughs> video, right? <laughs> what are you saying? What are you <laughs> saying? <laughs> but fair, fair. Actually, I, I don't think it's a bad thing. Mm. Just, just putting it out there, I don't think like OOTD or this thing are bad things. I mean, it's something to celebrate. You're already celebrating, right? You yeah. know, and, and, and all that. So dress a little bit better, I think it's okay. You know, it's just more like opening up to the floor to see like how do you guys do it, right? And, yeah. and, and all and, that. And you know, once a year, just just do it, lah, right? Mm-hmm. If, if you can make our family better, uh, our parents happier, okay. Lah, happy once a wife, year. happy life. <laughs> Is uh. that the mantra? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome to the Financial Coconut Podcast Network. I'm your host, Reggie, aka Your Chief Financial Coconut. And if you are loving what we are creating here, like, share, subscribe, share with your loved ones, comment in the comment section below. And yeah, we'll see you for great content on Chill Swift TFC. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but can, can you tell us a little bit more, like, how is it different Malaysia and Singapore? Malaysia, I think the culture is still there. Singapore, because every day we're seeing each other. Mm. Right and also especially when it's uh, seeing your parents, seeing your own relative, I think no mood lah. Because as and when you want to go for dinner, want to go for lunch, anytime you can chill each other up uh, and after have this kind of gathering ready. Mm. So Malaysia, uh, because we seldom see each other, and also you still have all those firecracker, right? You mm. still get yeah. here Singapore, no, no, nothing, but it's uh. illegal already, right? By right, don't care lah, illegal. <laughs> la. How to catch Malaysia? Not I say one lah. Not I say one. Not I say. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, please continue. Yeah, we we, we, we still can play all those things, you know? All the younger day those 
those things we play lah, mm. right? You still can do it because no way you can catch one. By the time police come, you're so gone now. Pack, 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 gone already. Right. Okay, not I say one, not I say one, <laughs> say one. Say one. <laughs> but I, I actually traveled to uh, China before, you know, for Chinese New Year, like with mm. some of my friends there, mm. and it was so different. They can see, they have to cross yeah. and they go to another place. You know, it's like in Singapore, right? Like, much you pao ke thai lai de, you know? Like, hey, one day, four household, you know? Like, uh, okay, hello, two hours, next household. Hello, next household, next household. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, dinner, high tea. Okay, finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four household, two days, you know, eight, finish already. Mm. Almost all the household you complete. Right? It, it, it's quite fast. A lot of things, very fast paced. Yeah. But when I was in China, I went to my friend's place. And then it's like, so what are you going to do? Oh, uh, ta ma jiang, then right? So it, it, it take a whole day one, you know, and then a like whole day at one place, and then next day maybe go to the Shiji, mm. and then the next day drive to the Xian, right? Go down to like another place to then visit like the family or some the bigger family. It's like a whole day phenomenon, right? Yep. Because it's much bigger. So you go to one person's place, they kind of hang out the whole day. They don't have gun chang one. It's a very different... It's very different, right? Very different, different right? Yeah. Is, is it similar like that for Malaysia? Last time, yes. Now, no. Because last time, my parents, my mother, uh, my mother got 10 siblings. So. And every time Chinese New Year, you have to visit one by one. Uh. Mm-hmm. Right? Now, now, no more, you know. Right. Basically, we all stay close to each other. All, all my sister, all, all we go back to my mother place. Eh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair. 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 Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. The, it is interesting to see how the Chinese diaspora, after they leave China over the many many decades, right? How do you kind of like live, embrace Chinese New Year? It's very different. Right? Yeah. Very different. Very, very, very simple. Very yeah, simple. Very, very simple. simple. Everything Tianhua one is like I would even argue it's very commercial, right? It's uh, everything okay. Outsource, outsource law. You know, a buffet. Mm. Everything. Mm. The people don't cook anymore. They don't do that whole like mm. together. You know, like like kind of thing. It's quite yeah. sad, like Actually, should yeah. bring back this kind of culture. You yeah, you yeah. you miss it. You yes. always. Remember yes. in your life, no? Yeah, it's true. Right. I miss the pineapple tart. That's me, ah. Okay. Yeah. I come and help you, ah. And also, I can <laughs> remember last time. Last time, my relative are uh, doing a quick up pack. The, the love letter. The love ah, letter. Ah, quick oh. up pack. Oh. It's called quick up pack. Quick up pack. See, yeah. I only know it's called love letter. See, it's so <laughs> horrible, so, right? Yeah, so I know how to make some more, like. Uh, I know. I know. They need to put the paste ah, put and the then, paste, then, like, then, like, then, like, open, flip, flip, flip. So, why you see the auntie make? Amazing, amazing. Okay, okay, interesting. And what else do you then spend during Chinese New Year, like? All these goodies la, do you all queue up for like, you know, like uh bakwa, you know, all those kind of things. Bakwa I don't buy during Chinese New Year, it's mm. super expensive, over yeah. inflated. Horrible. How, yeah. what's the what's the difference? Uh? No difference, you need to queue on him. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I mean price difference. What's the well, price a lot, difference? A lot of difference, uh, uh, Bakwa. Uh, uh, a lot of difference. Uh. Uh. I think the price is easily double. More than I, I don't know what's the what's the price more because than very expensive. More than two X. Mm. Yeah, oh. very, very expensive. Wow, uh, mm. that's why that's why they do one month enough already, right? <laughs> can can right. relax the whole year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah and, and also nothing much to spend. Mm. Basically, really? I, basically don't... I don't spend, I just pass my money to my Okay, okay. My wife. Basically basically you are the financer. Uh, right? financer. Someone will allocate the budget accordingly. Correct, okay, correct, okay. Correct, and yeah. then you do you buy anything strange? Actually, no that like for myself I just pass money to my mother. <laughs> okay, okay, so, <laughs> so day, I got day. a wrong bunch of people in studio today, like <laughs> it's like you should get your wife and your mom, right? <laughs> about this thing do you guys spend all that, all that? Yeah, so. yeah but I know what she, what she buy la. Okay, usually those buy? Chinese New Year goodies um, those red cap one la. is it nice Let, let's be honest I Personal always feel preference. like it's, it's seated there and then uh. it doesn't get like, okay, you know. so what I feel is that there are always popular goodies and not so popular goodies. Yeah, 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 <laughs> and the yeah, yeah, popular yeah, yeah. goodies gets finished very fast. Very like. fast. Then one. the not so popular one, nobody will touch. Uh, maybe the the scotch tape still, still there. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> so other than goodies, then maybe it's more on the Chinese New Year. If that dinner itself, most of the money will go there. Mm-hmm. To increase the budget for the food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, a goodie is not for us to eat. one. Just in case you have someone to visit our house, mm-hmm. at least you got something for them. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, but yeah. after a while, if Nobody be said we have to eat ourselves. <laughs> yeah, la, uh, that's why I must give an honest feedback advice to all the financiers, all the mummy and aunties, you know, buying all these goodies, right? You know, if you if you see many years this thing nobody touch, please stop buying it. <laughs> Allocate your budget to buy the thing that a lot of people touch. La. Yeah, right, especially right. during this period, like high inflationary yeah, environment yeah, yeah, really yeah, have yeah, to watch. Yeah. La, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, allocate your budget better, right? right? But how do you guys uh, do the Nian Chu Si? Like the steamboat. Pen Chai is very serious already. Uh. These days, nobody do Pen Chai already, is it? I still do Pen Chai. Okay, okay. But, but you, you guys do on your own or you buy in? Just buy all the ingredients and just make it. Make ourselves. Oh, Pen Chai yeah. very serious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. My family is more of the Ta Yu Ta Ro kind. So not the hot pot kind. So we order like 
The Honestly, I like the Thai taro kind. <laughs> the, yes, yes. Then the steamed chicken, uh, then the roast pork and all that. So mm. more typical of Cantonese style. Uh. I prefer this over the hot pot. Yes. Because I feel that hot pot is not real cooking. Uh. It's just putting <laughs> things into boiling water and then just eat. Oh. All your hot pot fans down there, comment. Uh, comment. <laughs> <laughs> Score this guy. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah la, personal preference. Uh. Some yeah, people yeah. prefer hot pot. That, that is also No, okay. but I do, I do enjoy the dishes kind of thing. I feel like it's more fun or more, more interesting. Fun, more fun. Or like it depends on where you if you live in a kampong they prepare all this kind of yu taro uh, mm. then it's more fun because you prepare for a whole day uh, mm. then after that just for your reunion dinner mm. now uh, everybody want to save time right yeah, hotpot yeah. uh, hotpot easier so. no now buffet you even save more time right? <laughs> people don't even don't even do hotpot so you don't just, have feeling yeah, right? yeah, yeah so what is one thing that you hope that people can do more like during CNY let's give our audience some ideas or like how do you make your CNY maybe a little bit more special this year Tough question. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam, why got so bad now? <laughs> it's actually quite bad. <laughs> <laughs> only thing I hope la, CNY la, more time. La. Like China, 15 days. Some Singapore, right Singapore only. MP. <laughs> <laughs> MP, if you're listening, uh, give three days. La, right? Yeah, <laughs> if you really want shot. to bring the culture back mm. uh, to Singapore itself, uh, I think the Chinese New Year, two days really not enough. Mm. For, for those who work in Singapore, because majority of Malaysians work in Singapore, are wow, so rushed you know, every time. Basically, we don't really enjoy, enjoy the Chinese New Year. Fair, fair, fair. Mm. And our Malay friends will say, we only one day. <laughs> What do you have to say to that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't say, don't say. Don't say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but yeah, I, I would hope everybody had a little bit more, yeah. you know, to... to, to but this time around, I, I don't go back to Chinese New Year, this time around. Oh, why not? The reason is because immediately after Chinese New Year, there's a school exam, university exam, and also poly, poly exam. You don't have enough time. At the same time, also can save some uh, money la, on the air ticket. <laughs> yeah, 10, 7K, ringgit, right? 10,000 oh, 10, ringgit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I substitute by going back to Ipo during this time during Christmas period. Okay, okay. Cheaper also, right? Yeah, yeah, fair, fair, fair. And then that means we can come to your house and buy in, right? Yeah. Okay. Can, can, <laughs> okay can. Yeah, 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 yeah. How, how, how do you want to improve CNY this year? A lot of things have been set in place, the customs and all that stuff, right? It's very difficult for younger folks to really change the custom and tradition because it's all set set forth by the seniors and you don't want to <laughs> go, go against them. Mm. You try lah. They're very united, <laughs> you, you know, because this I round they're dare. all together. I don't dare. <laughs> yeah, uh. I think a lot of people are very scared of those Chinese New Year questions because different generations have different thinking. Oh. Mm. So I guess with more social media and all that stuff, your new generation, even the new Gen Z versus millennial already have quite a bit of different really. Mm. So everyone be more tolerant just be more acceptable, <laughs> okay? Don't need to always force your opinion on other people. Mm, national development pie, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> maybe one, one small little thing that I think people can consider doing, right, is maybe if you have not tried before, I actually quite like Chun Tao He Pan, you know? I don't know if you guys... Yeah, I went, went several times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of those places that still try to have some sort of this kind of like kind of thing right where mm. you just kind of go and walk around and all that because to be clear Singapore becomes a ghost town right during Chinese New Year right? all the shops are not open you know not, nothing's really open right so at least at Chun Tao Pan there's something like, right you know uh, what they call it River Ang Pao right yeah. uh, mm, River mm, Ang Pao mm. <laughs> whoever gave the name <laughs> <laughs> yes River Ang Pao right so I think that's pretty fun you know uh, if you have not tried it probably you should try it um, and yeah sometimes I will just kind of catch a movie with my cousins so at night. I think I think those things kinda help make it a little bit more <laughs> like hey tonight, ah, tonight, okay, 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 okay. We we tahan here, tonight we go hang out, you know, like <laughs> <laughs> So so a little bit of that lah. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, but you were saying about the all these challenges for millennials, right? Like to handle Chinese New Year. <laughs> any any uh words of advice, specific things that they can do? Or may, maybe you call like Ren, you also can can share. I think as a elder, our seniors uh, they always uh, want to show show the concern. Because now I also start to understand uh, why sometimes my parents uh, ask me the kind of so-called stupid question. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those, those things. Now, uh, because uh, I also ask this kind of stupid question to my children. <laughs> See, I told you, you're transitioning, right? Yeah, that, that's why, yeah, that's yeah. why I said it. I already told you so why I need to tell you so many times why you keep on asking this kind of question. Uh, 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 <laughs> now I also start to understand it's uh, very natural transition. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so so just be endure la. It's really from the heart la. Because eventually you also ask this kind of stupid question. <laughs> or, may, or maybe you can 
think about better questions to ask. Yeah. <laughs> okay, responsibility cannot one way, right? Yeah. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. It's always like, uh, young people, just ban, uh, just take it, uh, just tahan, you know, like these two days, yeah. no more. Ask but, better questions. Yeah, why, uh, why not? The older people ask better questions, right? Mm, and, don't, uh, don't ask those who stand there, uh, 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 those yeah. things is quite irritating. Yeah. Because sometimes also mother ask me, hey, how's your work? <laughs> Yeah, every day you also talk, talk about, about work. work yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still ask me how's my work. Oh, uh, 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 oh sometimes full and full and all. Yeah, yeah. So what's a better question that you would you would want to ask or you ne- would rather ask? N- never thought about before. Okay, okay. Right. <laughs> Because now uh, with my my parents, we are talking about quite serious stuff. Lah. We talk about estate planning. Okay. okay. Mm, we're talking about uh, the health issue. Really, if something happened to them, what are going to do? Those are quite serious questions. But during Chinese New Year, like... No, it doesn't matter. Because, okay. because we don't pantang anymore. Okay. Because all these kind of things, we have to face it again. Uh, mm. Transition. Uh, mm. When you reach certain <laughs> stage, uh, you talk about different <laughs> things. Yeah, 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 I, right? know, I know. So, so I'm yeah. talking about quite all these kind of things. And I'll talk about my uncle. Uh, it's in you know, whole old folks' home. Uh, well, all, all sorts of issues. Uh. Wow. Mm. It's really totally different type of topic. Eh. Mm. <laughs> I, 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 I one day I will get it uh, but I, I kind of understand, understand you roughly can get yeah, it I, but I, you maybe cannot yeah, get yeah, it yeah, it's, the, it's the kind of thing like okay I kind of understand but I I don't think I fully understand yeah you know yeah I mean? because I also don't understand all this kind of thing until we reach certain stage uh, we are really facing all this kind of thing we have to make decision mm. Mm. if we don't make decision now something is going to happen for example some of my uncle also he saved a lot of money but end up uh, he don't want to buy a, a, a home for himself don't want to hire a maid basically he, he still prefer to stay in the old folks' home. Mm. We say that you make so much money for your whole life for what? Just stay in the old folks' home? And I advise him to write a will. He refused to write a will because he don't want to pay a lawyer. 500 ringgit, don't want to pay. Mm. Mm. Right? Then after that, how? All your money in Singapore, how? Mm. If something you pass away, then who's going to take out all your money? Let me, no man, Singapore government said, contra- uh, thank, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh. Thank you very much. Right? Yeah, all, yeah. All, all these things, all, all, all the very serious topics. Uh. Hmm. Mm. It gets very serious. Yes, yes. Yeah. What are some strategies, right, to combat these questions? Uh, combat this yeah, yeah. <laughs> this uh, that, that, that's a kung fang. This a shou fang, right? <laughs> that that one is an aggressive one. This one is a defensive one. How, how do you how do you manage manage these, uh, yeah, social tensions or like questions in Chinese New Year? Yeah, actually, fortunately on my side, I think I didn't have to manage it very much because my relatives' side are actually quite understanding one. They won't ask this kind of stupid question, like insensitive one. They, because they kind of know where you are, what you're doing. So they won't ask like um, those irrelevant questions, uh, really waste people's time one. So I don't really have the experience of defending myself <laughs> because it comes very naturally for me. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. So I think even on a personal level, I expose more of myself on YouTube than to my relative. So I, I'm generally comfortable with what they ask. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Like, Broadly speaking, I think some of my aunties are more sing mok. Mm. Right? <laughs> they they're not so cock, right? Like they will not ask like weird, weird questions. Everybody young before, right? Right. So you kinda know, you try not to like continue this thing, right? You're more chill, more 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 open, you know, like uh, sometimes it's just companionship, right? Like what 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 you want to ask, right? Like if you really want to ask, we can hang out doing non CMY days also can talk one, right? Mm, like don't mm. need to be specific and then everybody bombard you. Right? So a lot of times I feel that like these questions come in, right? It's not really to kind of care or find out exactly, but more like a passing question. Cause a random shuffle in the living room end up we sit together. <laughs> 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 you, you know what I mean? So we don't need to tie people's tie, right? We don't need to like you know, um, if, if that's a situation, then it's okay. Just answer in a casual way and don't need mm. to take it too seriously. And mm. then you, you move on. Right? Mm. And for the family members that you care and they care for you, you know they care for you, um, then yeah, you know, you can always have that more like more heartfelt kind of yeah. discussion. Lah. Find a quiet corner, hang out, I get you tea, you know, something. And then you can talk. Lah, I think I think that's a, there, there's still variance lah, within the family unit, especially the extended family unit, right? Mm. Uh, when everybody comes, sometimes like the once a year kind of people, what you want me to tell you, right? Like, you, you're not even that interested, right? And it's okay, it's okay. We, as much as you're not interested in me, I'm not interested in you. Just you know? go through yeah. it. Just go Just through go it. Just finish yeah. it. You know, but I would advise everybody to uh, capture more of the relationships that you care during this period of time. Because sometimes it's really quite hard to meet everybody at one time. Right? So if you have a situation where you can meet everybody at one time and there's some people that you care a bit more of, then yeah, ask more questions. Huh? Spend more time with them. Lah. Get a corner together. You know, mm. like uh, Don't need to hang out with everyone. Right? Just hang out with the people that you, you enjoy. Lah. That's a better thing. right? And uh, for all the elders, right, don't give unsolicited advice. <laughs> <laughs> I once and for all I tell you uh, I don't want any pep talks uh. <laughs> don't come and ask me uh, I want to talk to you so I don't want to talk to you <laughs> so, so, control yourself okay I, I, 
you know what I mean, right? Yeah, like, yeah, there's yeah. a pep talk. Ah, lie, lie, lie. What I want to say, I want to I don't want to say. Nothing I want to talk to you about. Because yeah. you know why? Because most of the time, they don't have anyone to talk to. Mm, right? Mm. And also, they are lonely. Not like us. We are so busy. Mm, uh, mm. When you talk about some of the uh, things that are non-relevant to our life, or not, we, we, we don't have any uh, interest to talk about it. Mm. Mm. So, you just imagine those retirees every day sitting at home, nothing to do, just waiting time to pass. Oh. Mm. Of course, you're going to ask a lot of funny questions. We don't blame them. Yeah, yeah. We will reach that day or one day. <laughs> <laughs> You that's are why, there like You're there yeah, You're transiting that, that's, that's why, why you, you, You're giving yourself Some, some, some yeah. leeway <laughs> Because last time I was also quite irritated When, when all these things Happened Now mm. I start to Understand more mm, Then fair, put fair. myself Into a shoe and fair, stuff. fair Yeah, fair. yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately Fair <laughs> Fair Fair <laughs> But I, I still hope the you know the the elders can also learn to be better elders. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, you cannot always expect the next generation to bear or or just handle yeah. it. Like as an elder, maybe you can also learn to be a better elder. Ask better questions. Be more open, more polite. I, I think I think all that helps with the the social harmony at work la, or at home la, But this know? this episode you reach them or not? I don't know. I don't. Please share with your uncle, auntie. Okay. <laughs> if there are some things that I say that you cannot say, like you don't want unsolicited advice, you can share this episode. It's, it's both ways, uh, la, Both yeah, ways, yeah, yes, yes. Both ways, both ways. So, yeah. so although we joke about it sometimes, uh, sometimes I mean it, la. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, yes, I, I get it. Okay, okay. So in keeping with the theme that we are financial podcast, okay, okay. I think we we went round. Oh, oh, and oh, to be clear, I think our audience will enjoy today's episode, and I think you guys shared great perspective of like you know different angles to look at some of these things right but in closing okay in keeping with the theme that we are financial podcast what will you do with the angpao money <laughs> or what what are some financial things to look out for uh during cny or like kenny you don't get angpao money like you give angpao money right so like, i give and also take back okay okay yeah. yeah so for a lot of the people that still kind of get angpao money or their first time giving angpao money you know or certain financial tips big and small maybe i, I cannot say myself but i say what i advise my son to do okay invest because first thing first, I give him the pocket money and he don't really need the angba money. Whatever money he save, I just go and invest and generate passive income. This is currently what he's doing now. Even on the birthday itself, I don't buy him gifts. I just top up his CPF as a... That's a lifelong. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's more, much more worth it than... Receiving. Next round you get your kid on, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask him how he feel about it. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can, can, next round you, you join your son. You also come together. Then I will get the muffler. You know, those kind of big thing that you cannot hear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So you say, and then I'll be like, okay, okay. Come, yeah, yeah. to where are you? Where, where? Then, then only I know what is happening in the conversation. Okay, next round, can, next can, round. Can, can, your son. That, that will be fun. <laughs> Hear the experience like uh, I have never received a gift ever <laughs> going up, but every year I got SA top up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know where, how, how they feel no? yeah, Because logically yeah. We think that should, uh, that should be the right exact, way no? Exactly <laughs> right. So, so bring your son Next round we do this Okay yes, yes, yes. Great 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 Yes Yeah so Regarding the ampo money That you receive right Firstly mm. if you're owing people Any money Please go and pay <laughs> please up Please try first. not to owe True yeah. Chinese yeah, Pantang yeah. a bit Don't, don't owe True yeah. Chinese yes. Very bad uh, to owe people money In other money. words I'm also telling my Clients <laughs> Please, okay, all my clients, please clear payment. Uh, so I will send you an email after this. <laughs> so like I said, um, don't owe people any money. Secondly, if you have any large expense items that you really want to buy, then maybe just treat this Ang Pao as a bonus, uh, mm. a small little bonus, but not something really luxurious, extravagant. Uh. Most likely your Ang Pao cannot cover. Don't say use <laughs> and go for holiday, uh, then no more. Eh. <laughs> just be more prudent, uh, especially in this recessionary and inflationary environment. Fair, fair, fair. And uh, I don't know. I feel like my best advice for people to use Ampa money, okay, because my Ampa money don't feel like it's growing. <laughs> so every year feels like getting like cute sweet like that, you know, like times are hard. Like, I'm, not, I'm not blaming the family, okay? but it's just more like it's not a lot. Or maybe because we are making a bit more, right? So relatively, mm. you don't feel the impact. Feel it, yeah. You don't feel the impact as much. But it's the thought that counts, okay? But, but still, at the end, there's an X amount that's on your hand, right? So uh, I feel like in my worldview, it's not a lot of money to, to invest and all that. Your, your monthly income really easily trumps this, this amount, right? Um, but maybe something that you can consider is to take this Ang Pao money to then kind of treat Kopi to some of the people that you care mm. so that you take the opportunity to hang out together lah. Right, catch up with them how are they doing you know uh, and all that right and I think it's a it's a great way forward lo, mm. right rather than just always thinking about just accumulating 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 because honestly angpa money not a lot la, okay if your angpa money is a lot probably you're not listening to this show la. yeah. <laughs> right so uh, yeah maybe get some kopi get some tea spend some quality time with the people that you care hopefully at the end of uh, next year you form better relationships la. 
you know, I think that's uh, important, important. Cool. Any last things in closing about CNY, you know, Kong Hei Choi again or something? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Any last things you want to share? Yeah, so about Chinese New Year, right? Maybe some of you younger folks think that it's not important. But as each Chinese New Year pass by, maybe your elderly grandparents is one less for them. Uh. So very important to keep this kinship with your parents, with your grandparents. So especially when you grow older, they are also growing older. So there is one more Chinese New Year for you, but one less Chinese New Year for them. Yeah, same thing, same thing. Spend more time with them because Chinese New Year to the elder generation, I think is still very important to them, mm -hmm. right? So... Although, uh, as a younger generation, we think that not so important to us, but it's very, very important to them. Just spend a few days, and I think that that will be very helpful. Yeah, we really want to end on this note. Huh? <laughs> very heavy note. Huh? <laughs> but I get it. I get mm, it. It's mm, important. Mm. Okay. Um, maybe I one line for, for all the young Chinese people listening in. Okay. 明不正而言不顺, okay? Let, me, let me be clear with you on this, right? A lot of things you feel like it's not what I want, you know, like you're within your family. People also talk about it. And I've, I've heard so many like random feedback. Oh, you travel. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. Like, <laughs> it, it's bad. Okay, in the sense that it affects your reputation, which also then affects how your family looks at you and mm. affects the vibe at home. It affects, you know, uh, how your, your extended family perceive you as a person. Everything like time before TFC, right? People think I hobo, don't do anything, right? <laughs> but the idea here is, okay, if the family has a certain way of doing things, there's a certain cultural aspect to it. If you meet this cultural aspect, people love you lah, right? So there's still some reality there, right? If you if you try to like be yourself and and don't do this, you know, it, it's also okay, but you get certain uh, backlash on some level. It may not be active one, you know, but you know, there may be a little bit of- a And also need to lead by example, lah, because mm. even this time around, if your parents still around, you still choose the opportunity to go holiday, do your own thing. Just mm. imagine next time when they have a children, mm. your children will do this kind of thing to you, yeah, mm. yeah, right? Yeah. So, so need to lead by a good example. Lah. Yeah, yeah. Fair, yeah. and honestly, sometimes I feel a bit like, oh, they're not here, you know, that kind of thing. Like my auntie, uncle, some of them, I think they're quite cool, one, but they holiday, you know, that kind of thing. Mm, mm. Then you don't get to meet them, lah, right? So please, uh, I hope to see all of you doing CNY, okay? Don't ask me for financial advice, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. Thank Happy you. New thank Year. Uh, Konghei Fa Choi. Konghei Fa Choi. Konghei Fa Choi.